Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at some former employees that decided to expose big company secrets today. Here's some domino secrets. First off, if you don't tip, the drivers memorize your address and they don't want to take your orders. If you do tip, they'll give you extra toppings, sauces, and all that. If you get food, it's because the pizza's put on a scale and you're only allowed to put a certain amount of cheese or, and toppings on it. They don't always wear gloves when they're putting your vegetables in tubs. They have this thing called the food pit of toppings that fall below the pizza. They make workers pick that pit and put those toppings back in their container. That's why there's cross-contamination and you'll find random shit in your pizza. The thin crust comes in a plastic bag. I'm gonna what? I'm gonna what? They pick their pieces up the floor and they put it in the pizza. Well, I'm hella grossed out. I lost my appetite just now. Great. Tummy has ceased to be rumbly. I used to work for American Eagle. Um, so first off, they pay their men more than they pay their females. I was uh, like 20 something graduated from college and my coworker was 18 still in college and they paid him more than they did me even though I learned more and worked more. Um, and then their sizing changed. So what used to be a 12 is now 14, 14 is now 16. So you have not gained weight. They actually just made it smaller because they just wanna like make females feel horrible about themselves. I don't understand stores that do this, to be honest, because I tend to go to stores where there's vanity sizing. So I feel better. Why are you changing that? It doesn't help you at all. I used to work at Victoria's Secret in the dressing rooms and would help fit people for their bras. And I just have to let you guys know, a little secret, we can fit you for your bras with your clothes on. <laughs> I mean, when you've seen one pair of you've seen them all, so it's not a big deal. But everybody just willingly whips them out and you're just like, okay, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna come around here with this tape. I mean, I love my job. You really got to boost a lot of people's confidence instantly just by giving them the right bra. But I will say it never gets easier trying to play jujitsu with a measuring tape and an 82 year old pair of knee knockers. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You mean they just whip them out? You know, just here, assess, assess me. Oh, ma'am, no, excuse me. Um. <laughs> You can put those away. Put the girls away. That's not necessary. I didn't know that you could do that for the record. Haven't worn a bra in like 10 years. Been wearing bralettes this whole time. Stuffing them. <laughs> Shh. I'm gonna talk really, really quietly because um, they're listening. Not sure who they are, but whoever they are, they're listening. They know everything about us. Ever wonder why little ads pop up with like things that you've been talking about, offhand conversations with your friends, and then suddenly you see an ad for it? It's cause they're listening. They know where you are. They know everything about you. They know if you're married, if you're single, and if you don't want them invading your privacy, use NordVPN and hide your IP address. VPNs are useful for more than just that. You can use it to watch TV shows that aren't available in your country. It protects you from malicious websites and files. And if you use NordVPN's threat protection feature, it protects you from cyber threats. I have it installed on my phone, on my desktop, on my laptop, and on my TV. And because I love you, and because NordVPN loves you. If you use my link, you're gonna get a really sweet deal. If you get a two year plan, you're gonna get four additional months free. And if you really, really don't like it, it's not your jam. Nord has a 30 day money back guarantee, so it's totally risk free. Go to nordvpn.com slash Charlotte Dobre to get your deal. Start protecting yourself from them. Manager for Spirit Halloween, I got paid salary, the same amount every two weeks, no matter what hours I worked. By the end of it, I was actually working so many hours that I was making less an hour than my associates. I was there up to 80 hours a week. I would have to pick my youngest up from daycare and take them to work with me because we had nobody else to work. Also, I actually fixed time in our system because one of my assistant managers forgot to clock out for lunch and they fired me claiming stealing time, which by the way, that's completely legal to do because she needed a break. This was their way of not paying me the bonus at the end of the season. They actually fired me a week before Halloween. The costumes that we take back, we never check if they've been worn, so you may have bought something that somebody wore, didn't wash, and we just stuck it back on uh, on the shelves. Also, they 100% sell your emails. 
Thank you for the information. You know, I don't really go in spirit Halloween. It's kind of a lot. It makes me stressed out. It also just seems like you're buying essentially just a pile of garbage that you're never gonna wear again. But it's interesting to know exactly how they treat their employees. It's a seasonal store, right? Like I know that I never see it around any other time other than Halloween. Let's stop normalizing buying really cheap Halloween costumes and never wearing them again. Bath and Body Works. If you do not like something that you have purchased from there, you can return it at any time. And I mean any product. We talking shower gels. If you wake up one day and you're tired of the little plain wallflowers, you can just take it in there and get you one with a little owl on it. That's fine, honey. Free exchange. Burn your candle all the way down to where it's got this much left. That's okay. Get a new candle. You oh. can take your spray bottle till it's down to this much and just say, mm-mm, I don't like it no more. Literally can get free hand sanitizer for life. Wow. What did they do to you? Because this seems like some pretty valuable information. As someone who uses a lot of candles, but I also hate the fact that candles are so freaking expensive. I appreciate this information. Home goods is a lie. You're not saving it any money. There are no deals there. These price tags that say compared at and then our store price, completely made up. I used to make tags all the time <laughs> and was told by several managers just to say our price is half of whatever the made up price is. Go there, buy what you want. Just know that you're not actually saving money on something that's worth more. They just made up that price to make you feel like you are. You know, that's pretty good. That's pretty sneaky. Cause like I'm way more likely to buy something if it's on sale or I know I'm getting a good price. It's almost like I can justify it a little bit more, but like, let's be real here. Companies are buying things wholesale for like a cent <laughs> and then they're jacking the prices up by like hundreds of percent and we're buying it. If you only listen to one thing I ever say on this app, which valid, let it be this. Do not ever use one of those for real milkshake machines. You know where you get the frozen little cup and you put it in the thingy and, it blah, 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 and then it shoots out your milkshake. They don't clean those. I worked Ew. at Wawa and um, I would clean it every shift just because I knew that other people weren't doing it. Even just from like the day, just one day not being cleaned, it's like, it's all mold up there. That door just opens right up and you can look at it. It's, it's gnarly. That's like a hundred percent mold mildew mix. And like, to be frank, these employees don't get paid enough to clean out that stuff. Ever wonder why you feel so terrible after you eat fast food? Yeah. That's why. I'm gonna speak from experience from when I worked there. I don't know what has and hasn't changed since I stopped working there. And for Panera Bread, I was working there from January 2012 to February 2013. All the mac and cheese and soups come in frozen and they just put them in a big vat of hot water until they're cooked. The frozen caramel and frozen milk was made with this like tar looking mixer. The lemonade was made with a frozen concentrate and the green tea is made with like a really, really thick syrup mixed with water. Panera Bread very much favorite good looking people. Basically, everybody had to work dining room before they can do cashiering, the line, or dishes. And it took me a month and a half before I was doing cashiering, and it took this other girl a week. No, I'm not mad. Also, they paid minimum wage. And I also heard a rumor that they pay a fee every year so that they can avoid giving their employees health insurance. Ugh. For the record, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of companies that just use frozen everything. They make it in a factory, they freeze it, then they unfreeze it and serve it to people. It's not unique to Panera Bread, but like for what you pay for, not worth it in my opinion. Just another reason to start to learn how to cook. Learn how to cook, you know what's in it. You can use olive oil instead of butter. You can make it a little bit healthier. At least you know what you're eating and it's also a lot cheaper. Jack Astor's, restaurant chain, very popular in Ontario. I could not tell you if it's anywhere else, but it's really popular, especially in it Toronto is. area. First, uh, there's this thing called thin slicing that you're taught to do, which is basically just a nice way to profile people. Um, guys, oh my God, Beer, nachos, here for the game, let's get it. Women come in, oh my god, sangria. I love the red, great choice. <laughs> Second, um, if you don't have three pieces of flair, you're not allowed to work. So that includes necklaces, earrings, pretty headbands, rings, your nails always have to be done. I mean, that's just kind of standard stuff, but you won't be allowed to work. Yeah. Funny story, I uh, once had a job at a different restaurant that's very close to the Jack Astor's in Toronto, similar. Very similar. 
You know, it was also because I was a terrible server. I'm good at a lot of things, I'm not good at serving. The worst part about it was like during your training, they pay you like less than minimum wage and you don't get tipped for that. So you're basically there training for less than minimum wage and then they don't give you the job a lot of the time. Well, thanks for wasting my time. That's great. So I used to work at Disneyland in California. I used to work at a food restaurant and they are all about their four keys at Disney and one of those keys is show. They never want to embarrass a customer um, or take away from their magical Disney experience. Everything is magical, the happiest place on earth. To keep this magical experience alive, us as cast members were not allowed to check money for authenticity. It would possibly cause great embarrassment to the guest if it were fake. I had personally received a few hundred dollar bills that were very noticeably fake without me having to check. And I couldn't do or say anything. I had to give them their change, tell them to have a magical day, and that was it. I couldn't even mention it to the manager. Wow, so you just like, Disney just takes the L? You know you could have like criminals coming in there and paying for things with like counterfeit, with Monopoly money, and you're just supposed to ignore it? I mean, Disney is pretty rich. They can't afford it. I used to work for Apple. So the first thing, rude customers, like we got some psychos in that store. But if you're rude to like the geniuses or the, um, pe the concierge people, you will get your problem fixed most likely. However, you're going to pay for it. But then you come across some like really amazing people and there was a term that Apple used called surprise and delight. And so essentially every genius and staff member sort of had a quota that they were able to go above and beyond and surprise customers. So I used to see a lot of people would come in with like water damaged phones and you're not allowed to replace those without a fee. However, the geniuses use like a surprise and delight to be able to give somebody a free replacement. Interesting. So be nice to people and they will reward you. Imagine that. So Target actually price matches all of their competitors' prices, including Walmart, including Amazon. So you can basically just go to guest services, show them on your phone the price for like a different website or a different company, and they would just go bloop, 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 bloop up at the guest service, change the price up for you. And this works best with, you know how when Target sells like the Apple Watches or the iPhones and they have like the extra $100 gift card or $50 gift card? Yeah, you can get a better price and you can get the gift card on top of that. So that's what I'd be doing at Target. It saves hella money Ooh, we love this i honestly prefer the ones that are like sneaky little deals i don't want to know that you're putting like pizza toppings from the floor onto my pizza i want to know how to save money thank you lizzie my job at costco which was actually a great place to work we each have our departments on our name tags so if you're looking for a specific item find someone whose name tag says merch if the price ends in 97, it's a clearance item. If there's an asterisk on the sign, it's the last shipment of them, and those are all we have left. You can buy alcohol at Costco without a membership. And word on the street is that the vodka is exactly the same as Grey Goose. Like, same factory. Once a month, we have this promotion where we make the upgraded membership a lot cheaper. You'll know it's happening if you see people walking around with, like, scanner guns. And you can return almost anything. One time we took a TV that somebody bought 14 years ago. 14. Like, it was like a fat TV. Also, we have the best Squishmallows. So does anyone want to go to Costco? I'll buy the hot dogs. So I used to work for Whataburger. Sometimes you get a really long receipt. And at the bottom it says, if you complete this survey, you get a free Whataburger with the purchase of a medium fry and a medium drink. We don't actually have a way of checking whether you did the survey or not. So you can literally just write down numbers, like six numbers, and use a coupon. And this is how I know that like we can't even deny it, whether we find out that you didn't do it or not. <laughs> there used to be this old man who would literally come into the store ask for a pen and write six numbers down right in front of us and use the coupon. And like, we were not allowed to be like, sir, I just saw you, I can't take this. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's, it's a free coupon. All right, yet another company just taking the L. Good customer service. I love these former employees just like taking names and being petty. It makes me happy. You gotta be like, listen, if you uh, don't want your former employees talking crap about you on the internet, maybe you should treat them a little better, you know? All right, guys, I worked for Starbucks for almost 10 years and I'm gonna share two tips that I've never seen posted online before. 
All right, so to start, uh, listen, I'm not here to snitch on anybody, but listen, if you're rude to a barista, you may or may not be getting decaf espresso in your caramel macchiato. Sorry, Karen. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Tip number two, a foolproof way to getting a free drink and a free snack. Okay, so in order for this to work, you have to go into the store. You can't go through drive through I know. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the barista and ask to do a coffee tasting with them. They're gonna prepare whatever pastry you want with whatever coffee you want. You guys are gonna enjoy it together. They're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be great. Try it, let me know how it goes. I'm going to Starbucks. 